In Moskovsky Dom Knigi on the New Abad there is a presentation of Joanna Stingray new book. It's called Ruski Rock, Kanyets on the Ground, Photography, Interview, Documente. Joanna is the person that helped West audience to get acquainted with the underground Russian rock. In 1986 she released a musical record which was called Red Wave, bands from the USSR. It contained different songs of Russian rock bands, including Kino, Aquarium, Alisa and Stranne Igre. This musical record changed everything. In Russia, rock songs started to release officially. Joanna's new book is the third album of photos, documents and interview made when she was in Soviet Russia. 1987 is that time when, with the help of a lot of people, Russian rock became official. Why it's important to talk about things that were 35 years ago, let's ask the author. Joanna, you're a friend of well-known and legendary Russian musicians. You've visited our country a lot of times. Was it hard for you to learn Russian language? Yes, because I never studied Russian. So in the beginning, I didn't know any Russian at all. And there were people around me who spoke really good English. Boris was fluent in English, Seval Gakal, Alex Khan. But the moment many years I didn't I just knew a word here and there only in the 90s in the in the beginning of the 90s when I had a Russian band and started touring and they didn't speak English and I didn't speak Russian I started to pick up more and more Russian but because I never studied properly I make many mistakes so it's not it's not proper Russian but it's my Russian it's hard to imagine uh, our rock party of the 80s without you and um, why did an American fall in love with the Russian rock, Soviet rock, what did you see, feel, and find in this in their culture? You know, really, I think it was destiny. I just came to Russia for a week, thinking I would clear my head, not expecting anything. Somebody gave me the number of Gorbachev, saying he's the Russian Bob Dylan. I didn't believe it because in America at that time, we didn't know anything about Russia except for it was an awful place, an unhappy place, and there couldn't be anything good. So I was shocked when I met Boris and saw what a cool rocker he was. And from Boris met Kirok and Tsoi, Kinchev, all of them. And, you know, it was just, it was, it was honest, pure rock and roll. It was just very cool music, even though I didn't know the lyrics, it touched your soul. So it just right away pulled me in. It was magical. In the book which you're presenting, uh, there are some pictures that have never been shown to public some unique things. In your opinion, what picture of these private ones has the most interesting story? You know, I mean, the wedding photos obviously are important because it was so hard. We missed our first wedding, then we got, got married, finally. But to me, what was interesting is that some of the photos in this book, I transferred from my old slides. And I don't ever remember seeing some of the photos. One of my favorite photos in the book is in the wedding part, when we get out to go to the wedding palace, Yuri and I, there's a photo of Sergei and Victor standing at the door, like, come on, Joanna and Yuri, like, greeting us to come get married. And it's such a great photo of the two of them together. So that's probably my favorite photo that I found for this book, but there's many, of course. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Goodbye.